All right, going to the third core skill most rangers, or if not any rangers, should be knowing is this move is commonly referred as the shotgun move because it may look like a shotgun. There's a lot of arrows flying forward in a cone-like shape, so I guess it resembles a shotgun move. What you will need for this skill to work is, as usual, you will want to have ultimate evasive shot. And what you will want to do is get your skill points to get ultimate charging wind. And you can already see the first line, it says space after ultimate evasive shot will allow you to fire this move. And also after evasive shot, which will be coming in handy. Now what this move looks like is pretty much this. You cannot really see the shotgun as you're firing it, but people who are getting hit by this, or if you see other rangers firing at it from the side or even forwards to you, you should see, like, the shotgun flying at your face. Now, the only real difference about this move is that, unlike the Q cancel and the auto attack cancel, you do need to let go of your F and of your Q skill. So if I try to, you can see on the right that I repeatedly try to hit spacebar and nothing is going to happen. The same thing applies to F, if like, I try to hammer spacebar, nothing is going to happen. So the deal about this skill is let go of the F key and then just go back to whatever you were doing. The same applies to Q. Press Q, dash, left and right. Spacebar, release Q, release, space, and go back to whatever cancel you want to do. Basically what this means is you have to learn to let go of certain keys when trying to use the shotgun move. But that is really only a matter of practice, and you can, as taught you in the Q cancel video, you can switch between cancels, let's say, I will go shotgun and follow with F cancel afterwards, shotgun, and go back to Q cancel. So the options are pretty, pretty huge, you can change whichever way you want to use and continue damaging people. So that is really all up to you. And I kind of screwed it up there, but uh, yeah. Like sometimes it happens even for me. Because I'm trying to show you every method of that work. But there we go. That is really all it takes. It takes a bit of time, as with the other cancelings as well. Just try to meet the dummies and try doing that on a regular basis. And you should be very comfortable pulling these off in combat at any time you need to pull them off. So there's really no need to like be worried about this. I did play the Korean version, so I naturally have a lot more experience than most other people do. So if you did start playing this game pretty fresh as a European or an A player, don't worry about it. This only takes a bit of time to get down to. If you start practicing this continuously, it shouldn't even take a week to get this down to mastered. So never get discouraged using this. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will help you. This is pretty much the highest burst DPS a ranger can dish out. For a considerable amount of mana, like if you follow the mana bar at the very bottom, you can see that it chugs quite a bit of mana. The reason why it regens so quickly here is because it hits a lot of targets. But let's see if I can find an isolated target over here. Um, it's still gonna spread pretty far, so it's probably not the best example to show you. But basically, if you only hit a single target with it, you're not going to get back as much mana, so you probably... Well, I don't even have to hit a target, so I guess I can sh just show you how that works. And if we're just gonna keep firing it repeatedly... You can see I can I can literally only do it three times before running out of mana. Just let me recover it real quick. And we're gonna start with boom, boom, boom. Hey, I, I cannot even do it four times, actually. So this E is a pretty, pretty damn mana-hungry skill. Let's try one more time. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not even four times, even though I have almost 600 mana. So that skill is pretty hefty on the cost, but in return, it pretty much, it pretty much kicks the shit out of everybody. So you should try to get this down as soon as possible, once you get the skills going, so... Yeah, hopefully, as the other episodes, this was helpful for you, and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me.